Hey, what's up? If you are new here, my name is Mimi. Come on in, I do hugs. And if you are returning, hey, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm here with an exciting Shein haul. I've never ordered from Shein before, so I didn't wanna go in and get like $500 worth of stuff. And to be honest, I'm on a low spend journey. I'm trying to get my finances right. So I mainly just like got things that I needed because I'm going on a trip, I'm going to Puerto Rico, don't care about the Ronies, the coronavirus. I'm still going out to my music festival because I bought them tickets months ago. So I got shoes. I'm mainly, because I'm trying to be frugal and save money, I'm re-wearing things that I wore on previous vacations that I never posted photos in. And I'm re-wearing things that I did post photos in, but nobody in Puerto Rico saw. And I'm wearing clothes that I have in the house that I haven't really worn. So I was like, you don't need to buy a whole new wardrobe every time you're going on a vacation. Especially for where we're going. I'm going to a music festival. I'm going to Afro Nation, Puerto Rico. You know that song? You're gonna make it to the top. Anyway, here's my box. Ah, here we go with the Sheehan Hall thumbnail picture. Ow! I'm sucking at this already. Sheehan Hall! Okay, so. I don't want to make long talk videos when it comes to things like this. I just want to show you what I got because I watched a lot of Shein hauls and I'm not going to lie. A lot of them were boring. A lot of them were really chatty. A lot of them required me to click through to get to the stuff. I definitely created a Google spreadsheet because there were so many things on Shein. It was actually overwhelming the website. So many things. And then when I put things in my cart, by the time I came back, like, like two or three days later because I really took my time to curate my shopping cart. Thumbs up this video if you do that. You put things in your car, you see how prices are, you come back two days later, you get the reminder emails, and then you do it again, and then you might do it one more time, and then you finally make your full purchase. I'm that type of shopper. I don't just throw things in the car. I don't, I don't just throw it in a bag and start shopping. So if you're like me, then I'm telling you what helped me this time is that I created a Google spreadsheet of the item, the type, and the cost. I would put the link to the item and the cost and the type of item, a shoe, a top, a bag, a hat. So then when I was finally ready to purchase, in case anything was no longer in my shopping cart, I could go back to my Google spreadsheet and click out. And if something was sold out, I would remove it from my Google sheet. It's a little bit extreme, but again, I was trying to be very frugal. I was trying to be very efficient and I was trying to make sure I got what I needed and not get extra stuff and buy anything impulsively and not lose anything in the overwhelming volume of items that's on the Shein website. I highly recommend having a Google spreadsheet for your shopping when it comes to websites like Shein, AliExpress. Um, AliExpress actually holds your cart. Pretty little thing, you could lose it in pretty little thing. Um, Boohoo, like, if you're not someone who shops right away, this is, I did it for the first time and I really, really recommend it. These are the Shein Faux Pearl Decor Fluffy Slippers and they were $9 and the size was medium. And they were on sale, they feel so soft and they're not too thick, where well, this is perfect. And every time I slip my feet in, it feels amazing. These are one of my favorite things because immediately once I open the box, I put them on my feet. Now I understand why everybody talks too much in their haul videos. I'm gonna cut this down, I promise. She in clear beaded chunky heeled mules. $23 and honestly they look better on the feet so I wanted something I could wear for a night out in Puerto Rico and be comfortable and walk around it without having to wear flat shoes because I'm 5'4 and I love the clear shoe because you can do whatever and the beads are kind of like iridescent like and look how fun this heel is such a fun shape these shoes look way more expensive on than in my hand and like the, for what they are, $23. Yes, yes to these shoes. Next pair of shoes we have are the Open Toe Sling Back Chunky Mules. And now I was a little disappointed in these because they do not fit my feet 
the way that they should. These were $23 as well. I got a, US, a European 39, which is a US size eight. I'm still gonna wear them. I'm not returning them. I'm, wear, I'm, I'm planning like an all white dinner while we're in Puerto Rico with my girlfriends. So we're gonna, these are the shoes that I'm gonna. This is too loose for me. And this is a little too loose, but not in an incredibly noticeable way, but I wish it were more snug on my feet. But like matte white heels, they look so much more expensive than $23. And they're so comfortable. Mules are my thing, a block heel. The heel is not too long for me personally because I wear heels all the time, love. I wear like booty heels, but still. Spurred my sheet in order. I went over to my friend's house and I saw these shoes in her apartment. And I was like, I, I need to get these. These are the open toe strappy mule sandals. Black, they come in so many colors. Also, how much were these? $22, super comfortable. Like these are things, these are shoes I, I know that I'm gonna like slip on my feet all summer and just live my life in them. The way the shape of the heel is makes it very sturdy and comfortable. The height isn't too much. I like the shape of the front. I love the matte black. It makes the, the, the fake leather look better and more expensive than it actually is. So this is another win. Like so far, all the shoes have been major wins. I also got a bucket hat. I got a denim bucket hat because of the heat. The bucket hat was $5 and it has like raw hem edges on it. And I just think it looks really cool. I have a ponytail right now, but I just think it looks really cool. And I'm gonna wear this like on the beach, being really cute. Like when I wanna dress a little tomboyish or with my denim shorts and my braids down, I have a vision. But yes, it does have a little smell. I mean, it did have a smell because I don't smell it anymore when it came out of the packaging. But $5? Heck yeah. If I lose this, I'll just get another one. I got some shades. I got these shades. Bitch. I feel like... I feel like such a baddie. These are the type of shades you... I like this because my no matter how long my lashes are, they won't fight. And like... They're reflective enough that if I wear them high up, like you can't fully see into my eyes, but then I could just wear them down here and let you see the eyes, you know? Nobody's seeing these eyes because I'm married, but you know, you know, you still want to feel like if you, if you was out here, you could, but you not, but you could, but you not, but you could. Anyway, that's how these glasses make me feel. I, I love the detailing on them. Like, I love that this is like slightly pink and like the, it's like iridescent pink love these love these shades it came in this nice really decent quality um leathery uh case and says how much is this seven dollars guys seven dollars the fact because like these shades normally like i think on amazon or in like all these little shops you're gonna spend like 30 bucks and like this case is so great like i've, I've paid more money for shades from other sites and gotten like a pouch so this case, wow, $7. And I have glasses that are about like $400 from Gentle Monster that kind of have this same vibe. And honestly, like, obviously the hardware is a little different, but who gonna check me? Like, you can't tell me how much these glasses cost. $7, like these are such a look. Wow. I'm gonna keep these on. And I got accessories because I'm tired of buying accessories from like Forever 21 and losing them so i was like i'm gonna just get them from Shein because everything is like two dollars on Shein. i got like a set of chunky of chunky rings i didn't really want like um is my ashy i'm always ashy here you know what's crazy guys when i started this video before i put on lotion and baby oil and i'm still disgracing my life right now and my last name why why literally look i'm shiny and i'm still ashy anyways i got these uh rings for my knuckles boss woman things i like to wear these type of rings like on my fingers here and stuff like that this one looks a little cheapy and fake but this ring set was two dollars so it was cheapy and fake so i'm most likely gonna wear this one and i really really like this ring 
this one could get some love it's like one of those rings i'm probably gonna lose and not care about but this one and this one i really like and this is the three-piece rhinestone engraved wide ring oh i got this butterfly necklace the butterfly necklace was also two dollars it's kind of like a choker style necklace with little butterflies it's mad cute i'm just gonna put the picture of it here because that's just too much to do then i also got a simple waist chain for two dollars it has a little bit of beading on it is it the waist chain yes this is the waist chain very cute gonna wear that with my little bait and suit with my little bait and suit um yeah then i also got um a skinny waist chain for five dollars put that over my dresses or whatever you know you know the vibe so i also let me take these off now i also got these black strappy sandals and they were 16 dollars. i got them in a size 8.5 now this part is a little bit loose on my feet and again i'm gonna put in clips of here of me with the shoes on that's gonna be another job like y'all really gonna have me editing but i want to make this good these um are a little bit loose right here but i'm really just getting these to like walk around the festival grounds i'm gonna be on my feet all day and i just want something i can throw on i like that they're like croc um the one thing i criticism i do have is that this strap part I wish they came down further and covered the, covered the knuckles of my toes. That's just something particular to me because whenever my knuckles of my toes are sticking out from shoes like this, I feel like my feet can slide out forward. So that's one thing that like I'm not a fan of, but for the purposes of wearing them for the trip and walking around and living my life, these are gonna do just that. Wouldn't recommend purchasing them if you're particular about something like that, but if you don't care, then girl, keep it moving, get them. They were $16, it's all good. I got this bathing suit, cow print bathing suit, $11, size medium, high waist. You're not gonna see me wear these. I will insert the photo. My mother might see this and I'm not going down like that because you're not gonna take me down. Definitely disappointed in this. The cow print just looks very cheap. Like out of everything I got, I was very impressed by Shein because nothing really looks like what I spent on it except for this very digitized cow print. Like I might still wear the top as a top, but like, I and I just wasn't really feeling my body in this bathing suit either. So I think that was also played a role in it being high waisted and I don't really have hips and like, I just didn't really like how I looked in it. So I wouldn't purchase this again, but since I paid for it and I'm not gonna do returns on it, I don't even think it can be returned. Bathing suits can't be returned. So I'm this I could wear as a top though with some high waisted jeans and like go out at night. I think it could be cool. So there's that. And last but not least, one of my most favorite things in this haul, it, I think this is one of my most favorite things in the haul actually, is these jeans. They are the flap pocket side cargo jeans in a size medium. I got, and they were $23. Like the thickness of this denim surprised me because I thought they were gonna feel like paper. They have huge cargo pockets and it's wide leg all the way down. Now, I'm a 5'4", so these pants are a little too long for me to wear with like sneakers or sandals, but I plan on wearing these with heels anyway with like my mules, so it's all good. I love the wash, I love how these feel. These are gonna get a lot of use out of me this spring, love it. So yeah, that's everything for, that I got from the Shein haul. So make sure you uh, comment below which item was like your favorite, uh to comment below which one was your least favorite that's fine too let me know if you've ever purchased from Shein. let me know if you want to see more hauls from me as always you are bombing it for watching i appreciate every one of you who sticks around and like the new people who find me and subscribe to me wow thank you i never thought i would have even 3,000 subscribers so i'm very appreciative to every single one of you who decides to watch me um and i'm appreciative of you of you, those of you who decide to subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram at mimi underscore moments again like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications i don't post all the time anyway so it would behoove you to turn on your post notifications so that when i do pop in you can say hey um yeah i'm so bad at closing videos because i love talking forever i'm gonna go shoot the annoying part of this video now which is me trying each item and taking the individual clips and then editing them for you to enjoy so Without further ado, 
I bid you adieu. Bye. I'm gonna talk to you later.